Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Amityville 2 The Possession, from 1982. It's directed by Damiano Damiani, and stars James Olsen and Jack Magner. Well, shit. We're only two films into this franchise, and as far as I'm concerned, it's already peaked, because this is my favorite Amityville film. Remember those words, because you're not likely to hear them come out of anyone else's mouth. I'm aware that Amityville 2 The Possession is nobody else's favorite, but I like it just fine. It's a fictionalized reenactment of the true life events that led to the true events of the 1979 film The Amityville Horror. And you're goddamn right I'm putting quotation marks around the word true in true events of the 1979 film The Amityville Horror. The funny thing is, this prequel doesn't announce itself as as a prequel, so it's very possible that people saw this and thought it was a sequel to the events of the Amityville Horror. If you're worried that a fictionalized account of the true 1974 murders of an entire family by its eldest son is in bad taste, don't worry as much because the names are changed in a bare minimum attempt to distance the family in the film from the family in the real world. The most interesting thing about this film to me is the pacing. A lot of people get upset that the climax occurs about halfway through it, but I find it to be unconventional and unique, a complete subversion of expectations. Not to mention that the camera work in some of the scenes is the stuff of greatness. In particular, the camera work during the scene where Sonny is guarding against a home intruder while his family is out of church. The practical effects are also of great note, especially towards the end. The only unfortunate thing about this movie is the last half plays out a little too much like a ripoff of The Exorcist, complete with exorcism and a self-sacrificing priest. There's also a fairly icky incest sequence that is a huge turnoff as well, where the eldest son, possessed by the house's evil, sleeps with his teenage sister. I understand that it's done by the evil as an affront to God, but there have got to be other ways to do that. Like, perhaps a good crucifix masturbation sequence, since this film is already copying The Exorcist, may as well take it as far as it can go. But it's the first hour of the movie that you should pay attention to, because that's the really good stuff. I'm going to give Amityville 2 The Possession a B- as we move on to the third film in the franchise, Amityville 3D Tomorrow. See y'all then.